I've, I'll tell you what I'm going to do, and then I'm going to do it, and then I'll tell you what I did if you didn't get it. So uh, the, the eagle is in here. Uh, the eagle, I'll tell you about as much as I know, which is not very much, honestly, when, when I get him out. But once I get him out and get him under control, then I'm going to invite you all to line around this curved loop in the driveway because I'll get out in front of you there, send him back up the driveway. But before I do that, I walk him around so you can get pictures. Now, for how many of you is this your first Eagle release? Woo ha! Look at all the rookies. That's great. All right, love it. You guys are hardcore. Now, for the, there are a bunch of folks here. This is like their 21st Eagle release. So they're they're the veterans. But um, once we get out here and get going, everybody will get a chance to get a good up close picture. And um, that's a vulture. <laughs> All right, now all right, teachable moment. How do we know that's a vulture? His wings are in a V, and when they fly, they wobble. Eagles, their, their wings come off high on their shoulders, and they're always flat. And when they soar, they don't do this. Vultures always wobble, and their wings are in a dihedral, or the V pattern. And now you can drop that information as if you've known it all your life, and people think, boy, that person sure knows a lot about Vultures. <laughs> so, anyway, so it'll be just another couple minutes because we will have, I'm certain, people racing in here at the last minute, but we're not going to delay this because it's a little brisk. Um, and as is our tradition, we do, in fact, have cookies, but we're going to take them inside after, afterward and let everybody thaw out a little bit. Uh, before we get started, let's see, where'd Nathan go? He's over here. Want to? Uh, Nathan, do you want to share anything about uh, this? Is uh, Nathan Younger, who's the park manager here at Chip Oak Plantation State Park, and we want to thank you for your hospitality today. And uh, we've had a very good uh, wildlife center. Really enjoys a wonderful relationship with our state parks. They're not only number one state park or the uh, park service or park agency in the country, but uh, really great partners in conservation. So you have anything to share with the folks? Tell them about Chip Oaks. I, I appreciate you. Uh, you choosing us to, to come out. It's great to have everybody out here on this cold day. Um, uh, anybody here from Surrey County? All right, good. It's good to have the Surrey folks here, those who are. Uh, we're glad that you were able to come visit Surrey, and we hope that everybody can come back and visit Chip Oaks some other time when it's, uh, when it's a little warmer. We have a lot of facilities. Our campground opens next weekend. Uh, we have cabins. Uh, we have a historic mansion uh, that we do tours in uh, on weekends starting in April through October. So we just have a lot of great facilities here, and uh, just glad that you guys had a good excuse to come out today and see this evening release. And thank you for being here. Great. Again, yeah, thanks for the hospitality. All right. I think we are close enough to get started. So um, what I'm going to do, the, the, uh, there's gonna be, it'll be a little rambunctious back here. Let me, let me tell you that. Before I get the bird out, before anybody starts gasping and going, oh my gosh, he's injured. He's injured. Um, now, when I say injured, have you ever known a little boy that can never keep his knees from getting, being stuffed up just all the time? And little girls, too, for that matter. Excuse my sexism there. Uh, out doing rambunctious stuff. Well, this bird does that stuff. And that's part of the reason it's been with us so long. It kept flying into the walls of the cage. You know, it's like I see through it. I want to fly through it doesn't work that well. The wrist joints are a little banged up. Now, if we were releasing this bird in July, we would keep it a little longer because we would be worried about flies or other things getting on these, these raw areas on its wrist. This time of the year, I don't think we need to worry about flies. Uh, so this bird is going to do just fine. Uh, it, if, if it looks a little raw, we know that. He was checked as recently as this morning. And he's in good shape. This bird should have no trouble flying out of here. So again, once I get him out and get him under control, then I'm going to ask you all to take your positions there. But before I release him, I will walk along right in front of the group so you'll be able to get a close-up picture, okay? Okay, time to rock and roll. <coughs> Um. 
more substantial handware. <laughs> there you go. Keep right on my shoulder, right? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Uh, actually, my help got a brand new camera lens, and now she's no good anymore. <laughs> Isn't that right, Linda? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Too many layers of clothes on these gloves are made to fit tight. Oh, good. That's good. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this is Dana Lusher, one of our uh, rehabilitator down here in this part of Virginia, but also one of our great volunteers, been a great supporter of the center, and she's my uh, extra hands here for a moment. All right. So I'm going there right now. I'm going there. Oh, you are? Yeah. Oh, well, great. Come on, big boy. Yes, on this left so wing, but that's no problem. Uh, this bird's plenty feisty. No. Yeah, you'll stay down there. That'll be good. All right. On the count of three. One, two, three. Oh. You know, I'll tell you what, that's pretty good.